Hey there everyone, my name is James Fedek. I am an Airbnb expert and in today's video we're going to talk about the way that Airbnb has handled everything with what's going on in the world right now as of late over the last couple of weeks um, and my perspective on all the actions that they've taken in terms of issuing full refunds to guests, uh, everything that they've done since then and then most recently yesterday when they announced that they were setting aside $250 million dollars a quarter of a billion dollars, it's not a small amount of change, um, to give back to hosts in light of everything that's been going on. So the first thing I want to talk about is just talk about the issue and share my perspective on everything from a public health and safety perspective, because that's sort of one side of the equation here. The next thing we want to talk about is looking at this from a business point of view. And what does this mean for us as hosts? Should we keep using Airbnb? Should we try to diversify on other platforms? And how is Airbnb done from a business perspective? Obviously, this is just going to be my opinion. And then last, I just want to share my overall thoughts on everything. Um, and again, just touch on whether or not we as hosts should be happy with Airbnb or whether I think that we should move away onto different platforms. So to start with, let's look at this from a public health and safety perspective. Now, as Brian Chesky announced uh, when he went live on video the other day there, um, they, Airbnb as a company very much looked at their decision to issue full refunds to guests from a public health and safety perspective more so than an actual business perspective. Uh, now, do I believe that? Yes, I actually do. Because honestly, if you look at it, this is a really challenging time. And this is a black swan event that has uh, actually impacted the tourism industry in a totally, totally unprecedented way. Like never before in history have we seen tourism go to these kind of lows where borders are actually shut down. And so naturally a company like Airbnb is going to be very, very heavily impacted by this kind of an event. And so the easy business perspective thing to do for Airbnb in a time like this would be to hoard their cash, would be to hold on for the ride of their lives and to hold on to all the money that they had gotten from all the guests. Now, what they did was actually not that. And now I realized that there was a little bit of shift here and I want to touch on that. But what Airbnb did was they refunded all of their guests and what that did from a public health and safety perspective is it meant that people were no longer incentivized to travel because ultimately if they had left it up to hosts, a number of hosts would have issued refunds and a number of hosts would not have issued refunds. Um, and for those hosts that did not issue refunds, those guests would then have an incentive in place for them to travel and therefore spread more and more of what's going around. And so that becomes a real health and safety issue because people are going to have the mindset of, well, you know, especially when this was just getting started and we didn't know the extent to which this is going to, this is going to escalate to, um, guests are going to have a perspective, well, you know, if I can't get my money back, then I might as well just risk it and I'll go and, and go on the trip anyway. Um, I know a lot of people would have thought that way. And so having that incentive structure in place to incentivize people essentially to travel is a really dangerous thing to do. And now, I realized as well that in the beginning when they first uh, issued these refunds, they weren't actually refunding guests for their service fees. And that was something that Airbnb was clearly doing to set aside cash. Now, that's a natural decision to make to keep the business alive because like we said, you know, if the business dies, then Airbnb is going to die and everything, everything falls down. So we as hosts are no better off if that happens. Uh, but they did come around on this because obviously if they're going to be having their hosts lose out, then they need to be sharing in those losses. So I think that was a very smart thing for them to do to then start refunding all the service fees as well, uh, because there's no reason that they should be able to hold on to their money while hosts are losing out on their, on their money. Um, so that's everything from a public health and safety perspective. Now let's look at it from a business perspective, from the eyes of Airbnb and from the eyes of us as hosts. Now, as a host, our business is pretty simple. Um, our business is, our customer is the guest, right? Our end customer is the guest. And in times like this, it's really, really important for, and really overall at any time, it's important for a business owner to put their guest, their, their customer first and foremost. So you really need to, as a business owner, and a lot of hosts don't view them as such, but ultimately we are, you need to really put yourself in your customer's shoes and put their need before the needs of your business. And that's a really tough thing to do. Now, ultimately what this means in a situation like this is issuing a refund to your guests because you have to give them a refund. If you think about the companies that succeed and excel long-term, if you had any travel booked, and you were not able to get a refund on that travel, I'm sure that you would be equally upset about that. 
You know, if you put yourself into that perspective and you think about it, okay, if I had flights booked and I had hotels booked and I had a car rental booked and now I cannot, under government order, I cannot go and, and actually fill on that. There's no, no control I have, no say in the matter. And then the company is refusing to issue me a refund. I'm sure you'd be pretty upset about that yourself. And so in order to maintain customers, we as hosts need to really treat them fairly. We need to treat them the way that we would want to be treated. And so from Airbnb's perspective, they just made the smart business decision for us as hosts right across the board. That's long-term going to be the best for us because if we make a short-sighted decision to not refund guests and that happens widespread, then that means that people are going to lose trust for Airbnb and the platform is not going to be as valuable to us. Now, if we zoom out one more level, Airbnb as a business, their business is a little bit more complicated. They've got two different customers. They've got their guests who ultimately they did right by there. And they've also got their customers who are us, are the host. You know, if we don't host our space, then there is no Airbnb, there is no business. And so they need to really put our needs first and treat us as, as being a priority over their business. Now, obviously we're, our businesses are very interconnected, but we are a customer of theirs, and so they need to do right by us. And that's why I think that with the $250 million uh, relief fund they've put together where they're gonna be giving giving money back to hosts, I think that that makes a lot of sense. I think that's a very, very smart business decision. And I think that had they not done that, I wouldn't be in line with the way that they were acting as a company. Because I think that it's really important for any business to put their customers first. And up until they made that decision, Airbnb was not doing that on both fronts. They were doing that for the guests, but not for the host. And so ultimately I think that that was a really bad call, but that they did actually, uh, actually remedy that when they recently announced, like I said, they're going to be putting $250 million aside to give back to hosts who, uh, who have lost money because of all the cancellations. So I think that was a really smart business decision. And so from a business perspective, the one thing I see that Airbnb could have done a lot better is communicate. They could have communicated early on that they were making this initial action and that they had plans to give money back to hosts and to share in these losses and that it wasn't going to come from government because initially they said that they were looking for government grants, which they're still doing and which they've still, uh, they still succeeded in doing to some extent by the sounds of it. Um, but I do think that Airbnb should have communicated from the beginning that they were going to be giving money back out of their own pockets to hosts because they cared about their hosts in the same way that they cared about their guests. Now, understandably, this is very unprecedented. I can imagine that Airbnb as a company and everything, everyone that's involved in the company is under a lot of stress right now with everything that's going on. So I do have a level of sympathy for them. And I think that because they ultimately made the right decisions and stood by us as hosts in the same way they did uh, stand by their guests, I think that Airbnb has actually done a very, very good job overall, given the circumstances. I think it's really important in times like this to be empathetic towards people and understand that we're all going through really challenging times and that this is very unprecedented and uncertain for a lot of us. So it's, I think, relatively unfair to expect someone to act exactly perfectly in a situation like this. I think that the most we can ask from people is that they, they measure the, the impact of what they've done, of what they've, uh, what they've chosen to do, and they adjust accordingly, and that they ultimately make things right in the end, which I think that largely Airbnb has done. I think they're going to come out of this a very strong company overall, and I think that as far as my overall thoughts, I still think the same way that I always have, which is that we should stay primarily on Airbnb because Ultimately, the more you look into it, the more you will find out for yourself that it is far, far better of a platform than Booking.com, VRBO, Homeway, these other platforms. It just does a better job of getting us bookings. The majority of our bookings are going to come from here. And by the way, the majority of our bookings are going to come from here even more now after this whole crisis is over because of the way that Airbnb has handled this and the way that they've really uh, put their guests first. Guests are going to want to travel here. They're not going to want to travel with, for example, VRBO, who hasn't been able to, uh, who hasn't made the decision to be as lenient like this um, with issuing guest refunds. And so we're gonna get the majority of our bookings here. The platform is uh, ultimately a lot more simple to use. And so I do think that staying primarily on Airbnb is a really good call. There's also going to be less competition on the platform as there will be on all short-term rental, I would imagine, because people are going to be shifting over to long-term rental options. Um, and so that is gonna be really nice for us once we get through this. For the hosts that do remain, there's gonna be less competition. And as Brian Chesky mentioned, which I do really agree with, I think there is gonna be a big burst of travel because people are going to want to get out and spread their wings. 
Now, am I saying that you should not expand on any other platforms? I'm not. I just think that it needs to be done very intentionally. You need to be very strategic about it. You want to do it slowly. You don't want to just expand over to them all at once because there are differences and nuances between each platform. And so you can run into some technical issues and just some logistical issues with it. Um, and ultimately, I do believe that for most properties, not all, but for most properties, Airbnb is going to generate more bookings than any other platform. Certainly larger properties and certain different types of properties, certain different locations will perform better on sites like Homeway VRBO. But I think overall, if we look at the, the entire picture, Airbnb is the number one platform um, and they will remain as such in my opinion. So my thoughts is that Airbnb has done actually a really good job and that we as hosts, there's a lot of things that we can do as well to weather this storm effectively and Airbnb's relief fund is one really big part of that that helps out tremendously. Um, so if you want to learn more about Airbnb, then please do subscribe to this channel. Uh, I share uh, videos every week. I share two videos a week. I'm uh, just talking about some strategies around managing properties on Airbnb, hosting your own space on Airbnb, um, and just all kinds of different tips and tricks to perform exceptionally well on Airbnb. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, I also have a free training that I've linked below on how to get started with Airbnb, or if you're already hosting, it'll show you how to become a top performer and really host with a lot more ease. Um, now I know this is a, a weird time to be doing something like that because Airbnb is a really uh, a really choppy business to be in right now. But ultimately, if we have the right skills as hosts and we have the right strategies, then we can perform a lot better and minimize our losses in this unprecedented time, and we can come out well positioned to perform exceptionally well in the long run. Because the reality is, like Brian mentioned as well, uh, this storm will pass. And when it does, we're going to have a huge opportunity at the other side of it. And being prepared for that is going to be really, really valuable. So if you want to take this time to prepare, to brush up on your skills, to learn everything you need to learn to really excel once everything is over with all this stuff, the craziness going on in the world right now, then just click the link below. I've included it in the description um, and you can check out that free training as well. I'm also going to leave a link to Airbnb's official uh, response page to everything that's going on in the world. Um, and that's going to be linked below. So you can check that out to learn more about best practices around cleaning your property, uh, different strategies that we've also talked about in other videos about how you can perform well uh, and stay, keep your business alive. Airbnb has now released official recommendations on things that you can do to stimulate your listing, get some longer term bookings in there. So I'm going to link to all that down below as well. Um, and until the next video, happy hosting. Let's keep on weathering the storm together and come up the other side.